All right, here's a little follow-up video for the uh, proper torquing of a barrel nut using a barrel nut adapter. Here is, this is a Jepson Aviation Maintenance Handbook. It's not FAA approved data, but it will work in this situation. But uh, anyway, there's the legend, T, actual torque. Y, the indicated torque. L length of lever, E length of extension. So this is how most people have their wrench set up parallel to the thing. And uh, too fast or T P H A S T. Me and him are going back and forth with the comments with his new castle nut adapter. He says he wants uh, 40 foot pounds on the castle nut. Well, if the technical manual tells you to put that adapter parallel to the torque wrench and set it to 40 foot pounds, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. That's what the manual says, but you're not applying 40 foot pounds to the castle nut. And here's proof. Um, it's not a big deal. Like I said, the engineers will know that people have to use an adapter to torque certain, certain types of fasteners, and they will just make it simpler and say, Hold torque wrench 90 degree, or you know, um, parallel to adapter and torque to 40 foot pounds. That's what they intended. <clears throat> but when they say apply 40 foot pounds to nut, or in the barrel nut case, 30 foot pounds, do not exceed 80, <clears throat> then they, they want you to apply the actual torque, not, you know, what the torque wrench says when you hook it up to three feet of adapters. Or an inch of adapter it makes it makes just about as much difference so anyway um <clears throat> here is the formula for when the way most people hold their torque wrench T which was the desired torque which would be 30 foot-pounds times L which is the length of your lever divided by L which is length of lever plus E which is length of extension and that's going to equal Y, which is the indicated torque. So this is what you will set your torque wrench to in order to get your actual torque. I went ahead and figured it out using this system I have. I set this, you know, uh, parallel. That's two inches from center, two inches from the center of the adapter to the center of the driver. That's E. L is 22 and a half inches on this torque wrench, quite a, quite a long ways from the center of the driver to the center of the handle. It says here um, the desire, uh, see it says hand grip center line permitted. So where I can grab, where it's permitted to grab the center line of that to the center line of the driver is 22 and a half inches. Okay, so we know all that. I converted it to inch pounds because this formula over here was in inch pounds. So I didn't want to stray from what's known. I'm sure it'd be the same, but you know, anyway, it's early and I didn't want to screw this up because I don't want to make a retraction video. So 30 foot pounds is 36 or 360 inch pounds. Because 3 times 12 is 36. So anyway, 30 foot-pounds is our desired torque times 22, which is our length of lever, divided by 22 and a half plus 2, which is our length of extension. It comes out to this, which equals that. So if I want to apply 30 foot-pounds to my barrel nut, I... With our 360 inch pounds to my barrel nut, I set this torque wrench to 330 inch pounds. And when I use this torque wrench, I will actually apply 360 inch pounds, 30 foot pounds. So I need to dial my torque wrench down 30 inch pounds when I'm using this particular setup. That is at 30. So if the 
torque increases, this formula probably changes. You can't just say 30 inch pounds. You know, you have to do the formula. So why do the formula when you can just move your torque wrench? Like I said this this is just a standard quick reference book. It's got it's got all kinds of twist, you know, formulas and and quick reference. So it only shows when you have it directly behind, which the only difference in that case is the L minus E minus extension, which is just how you're using it. And here's L plus E. There's the formula for this picture. So they give you two examples now. There, there's another formula for this, for this, for this, and for longer. Well, we're we're taking into consideration the length, the length of the extension. But like I said, there is a formula. Here it is. I wasn't full of shit, and it's just it's it's not. I guess it's not all that complicated. But why not just you know when it's possible? Why not just turn it like that? It just takes a second, and now you know exactly what you're getting. But anyway, I don't want to be a know-it-all. There's very few things I know about. This happens to be one of them. Um, like I said, if I was torquing things incorrectly, there'd be engines falling apart over your head. And there's not. Also, make sure you use some sort of a... Some sort of a temp-resistant anti-seize. I've been helping people take their AR-15 barrel nuts off, and you would not believe some of the some of the crap people have out there. I mean, you take the barrel off, it's bone dry, it's corroded. The amount of force you have to use to get it off is just ridiculous. I mean, I had like a three foot breaker bar attached to this and it was it was like picking this whole bench up off the ground. It's, it was ridiculous. It was amazing I didn't destroy the upper receiver. And um, yeah, that can all be avoided with this. Um, you can use any type of NICs, it will, will do the same thing, as long as it's temp resistant, but anyway, that is a, that's it for this, um, like I said, hopefully, this, the word will get out, and people will use the correct torque, and like I said, if the technical manual says to hold this parallel and torque to 30 foot-pounds, don't exceed 80, then that's a different story, I haven't read the technical manual, but if it tells you to apply, 30 foot pounds to the nut and not to exceed 80 foot pounds then you need to consider the formula all right have a good day